everyone and welcome back to another video so this week i'm doing a review on the tone and sculpt home guide so i'm going to be showing you three different workouts the upper body lower body and full body you get a 14 day free trial and then the guide is 30.99 a month just give you some quick information about the guide and what it's about and then we'll get straight into the workouts so I actually followed the Tone and Sculpt Gym Guide for one year. Um, back when I started my channel, I was following the Tone and Sculpt Gym Guide then. I didn't do any specific series for the Tone and Sculpt, but they were the workouts that I followed. So I am familiar with the app, but it's been updated since. And obviously I have not done the home guide. So this is all completely new to, for me as well. So there is a Sculpt It guide, which says they recommend for home and the gym. And then you've got your home guide. So I have just opted for the home guide. There's all different types of levels from beginner to expert. So I've just opted for the expert level, which is apparently a new level so that's what I'm going to be following you can pick three or five days um, for the option so I've picked for the five day guide and I was so happy when I seen the workout split so it's lower upper full body and then lower and upper so that is absolutely perfect for me it's it's a it's what I love to do when I was at the gym that was my workout split so it's what I'm used to and I'm I was like, yes, I can't wait to start this guide. The layout of the app is very organized. It's unlike any app that I've seen before. You've got a nutrition side, a community side. You can um, track your weight, you can track your water, but I'm not gonna get into all of that because there is so much I could talk about if I was gonna talk about the whole app, but I'm just gonna keep this to the home guide workouts only. So you can see an overview of the workout and what it looks like and what you're about to do and it gives you the equipment that you're recommended to have. So you do need to have dumbbells or some kind of weights to do this home guide. Maybe you could get away with doing it with bands but to be honest I that might be a bit difficult. I've got dumbbells and bands and everything that's recommended so um, yes, I will just be following the app exactly every single exercise as they recommend to do. Another good thing, it tells you the muscles that are being worked in each workout. So that is nice to see. First impressions, it looks really good. Everything looks organised. It's very neat, look neat if that makes sense. And I'm really looking forward to starting this and giving it a full review. I'll give you all the pros and cons of the guide at the end of the video as usual. Okay, so that is enough talking. We're going to start the week Monday with a lower body day. So let's just... Nine minutes so one hour 443 active calories 537 total really good workout that was definitely 
the closest to a gym workout that I've done so far since I've been at home in isolation. That felt like a proper gym workout. Of course, I was using my dumbbells and everything. I think because it's laid out in sets, reps, supersets, you feel like you're doing an actual gym workout. So yes, I'm going to leave all the pros and cons to the end of the video. So yeah, done. I'll see you tomorrow for upper body. workout complete that was such a good workout really really was uh one hour exactly 388 active calories 483 total really good calories for a workout <sighs> really impressed with the app so far got some pros and cons in mind already i'm writing it down saving it for the end of the video um but yes all i'm gonna say is really enjoyed that workout so the next last and final workout that i'm going to show is a full body day so i'll see you later in the week for that so just about to start it's five minutes of skipping as usual and then i'll just get straight into the workout this looks challenging and hard not gonna lie so especially with this sun on me i'm definitely gonna die today <laughs> anyway let's get straight into it ping of sweat that was a killer that was like a lot of cardio took me 40 well, 50 minutes exactly 411 active calories which is really really good for 50 minutes happy with that workout jump squats and burpees and then way to jump squats i was like what are you trying to kill me Whew. well get a breath so um, I'm going to finish the rest of the week of workouts. So I've got another upper and lower body day and I'll catch up with you the weekend when I am finished with all the workouts and I'll give you my pros and cons and full review of this home guide. 
Hey everyone, so it is the end of the week. I've finished the Tone and Sculpt Home Guide this week. I've done my five workouts and I'm just gonna give you a quick overview of my thoughts and the pros and cons of this guide. Just wanna say that each workout took me one hour to do, or around one hour. Like I said at the beginning, I love the workout split, how it's upper, lower, full body and upper lower. I feel like that's a really good workout split obviously if you're opting for the five day guide that is. It was definitely challenging enough if you could tell by the workouts I was absolutely yeah dying. Dripping a sweat dying. I really enjoyed the workouts. So let's move on to the pros and cons. I'm going to start with the pros. The app is very organized. It's very neat. It's got lots of information, lots of workouts, not just the home guide. It's got three different guides, the home guide, gym guide and sculpt it and all different levels as well for them guides. And there is also a nutrition side of things, but obviously I haven't gone into that but there is lots of information on the app. There is a demo for each exercise, which is good. There is also two to three alternatives for each exercise. So if you've got an injury or you don't like that exercise, you can just change it for an alternative. You can also follow the workout in real time. So if you want to watch her do the workout as you're doing it, and then the rest will automatically come on. You get one minute rest in between each exercise and you can follow it like that if that's what you like to do. That is a good part of the app. You can also track the weight shoes. I know that's hard at home at the moment, but it's still good to see what weights are on now. And then maybe when we get back to the gym, we can um, see how much we, we can improve. So the workouts are set and reps, not circuit based. Now of course that is personal preference. Some people like circuit based um, exercises and workouts, but personally for me, I've really enjoyed doing it with sets and reps and supersets. It's the closest to a gym workout that I've done at home since all the gyms have been closed and I've really enjoyed this week of my workouts basically. Moving on to the cons, you do have to have weights. So you have to have dumbbells, a skipping rope for this guide. While it says skipping rope, you can of course change that for jumping jacks or anything like that so skipping rope isn't really necessary but the weights are the upper lower body days are repeated so what you see me do monday and tuesday for upper and lower i've done them exact same workouts friday and saturday so that can be a little bit boring not boring boring is the wrong word but it can be a little bit not that motivating to think oh I've, I know that I'm doing them exact same workouts in a couple of days so that's a little bit annoying for me personally but yeah that's how it is so like I said at the beginning each workout did take me around one hour or just under so you need to have the time um I would think that we have all got the time for one hour workout each day but if you've got kids or you just really haven't got the time then maybe this app isn't for you so yes i think i've covered all the pros and cons that i could think of i hope i haven't missed anything i've honestly really enjoyed this workout guide and there is two guides that i've done i've done the shreddy guide and I've got a full review on that. If you want to check that out, I'll link it down below. And now I've just done the Tony Sculpt guide. If you want me to do a comparison, then leave it in the comments below. I could do a comparison video next. If anyone was struggling on what guide they wanted to start. Overall, really enjoyed it. Definitely more pros and cons to this guide. Honestly, really enjoyed this week of workouts. So, hope you enjoyed this video and found it useful if you was going to start the Tony Sculpt Home Guide. Uh, thank you for watching everyone and I'll see you next time.